There it is, Mana Crypt. Better than a lot of the power. What do we have Demir Signet, Best Signet, Upheaval, OP, Survival, Bayou, Scrubs, Seal, Splinter. How do you pass this card though? It's zero mana for two mana. Literally no downside. Literally no downside. Don't just zero mana for two mana. No downside. Every single time. I just take the Misty here over Golgari Signet, but I think it's probably close. We did just pass the Splinter Twin too. You know what? I'll take Sig. I haven't done on a good Brown Town deck in a while. Oh, Mama. This card is still busted, but it's not anywhere near as insane in Vintage Cube. I feel it's still great. Or sorry, in Legacy Cube, but in Legacy Cube is just the best card ever. Correct, it incentivizes subbing. Steak Jones! What's up, friend? Thanks for the 27. Come on, give me the draw sevens now. Give me the draw sevens that I require. Oh, there's a gush to go with the fast bond. This should probably wheel, though. I might actually just take the uh, toots here. Let's go with the tootie. Academy Ruins. Should I take that super early and aggressively here? Overgrown Tomb looks very good. Impulse also fine. Hey, what's up, Unholy Diva? So many inches, you got it. I'm gonna take the Tomb. Uh, they announced some Band Restricted today. Ooh, I'm gonna take the Welder now. A lot of... Popper cards were banned. Gush, uh, Daze, and Probe, I believe. Which means Tron's back on the menu for Popper, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Shinsei. Looks at that Twitch Prime. Big Foundry now. Sorry, I'm cool. Caracas, Colagon's Command. Oh, guns is good. Very, very good. Yeah, what are days worth online? Like 15 tickets still? Something crazy. Oh, I guess I've dropped a bit. They were going for like 20 at some point as well. Uh, Magus? Uh, that might hurt me more than it hurts them. Ah! Here's to 20 more months of Mox runner-up with Goyf. Thanks, man. It's gonna be hard to qualify for another Mox, since I don't do the quarterlies. That means I just need to win another Open. Easy. Anybody can do it. I can do it once. Anybody can do it. Currently, this deck is a little bit too fair. I think I'm ever going to play Steamkin. Bizarre has some weird potential with Goblin Welder and whatnot. This enchant just very main deckable. Alright, what do we got here that's broken? Inqua Leviathan with the uh, Welder. Off is good. Dark Slick Shores. Angle Wire nonsense on the wheel. No, at the actual mox, the only place that gets anything beyond cash prizes is first. I'll go with the Foff here, what the heck. Some, ooh. Well, I guess that doesn't do anything until I find, like, Tinker, but we'll take it. Again, very high potential. A large robo. And none of these lands are even good fixing for me, are they? Maybe I just take Phantasmal Image here. Excuse me. I guess the Stomping Ground is not currently awful. Legendary Streamer. There's a meme from a long time ago where Randy was doing coverage of me at some point, and he's like, and Numat Denami, Kenji Egeshira, Legendary Streamer. 
I guess. <laughs> and so, I don't know if he did that intentionally again, or if he told Athena to do that. But he's like, legendary streamer, I guess. <laughs> but in my mind, that was intentional on Randy's part. Hey, Chup, NSFW, thanks for 19 months. Extremely long stream titles. I still do them every once in a while. What's the story of them? Does there have to be a story? Oh no! Why didn't I take that Academy Ruins? Alright, well, we do have combo now. We do have Goblin Welder Mind Slaver, which is pretty nice. Trinket Mage here might not be awful. Currently gets our Mana Crypt and hopefully more. Strip mine, preordain. I'm gonna go with the preordain. Is this currently a pile? Yes, absolutely. It's okay. No! You weren't actually supposed to give me this. Gosh darn it. I mean, we'll still play it with the burning, and it's fine with some other cards, but that's kind of awkward. God damn it. Factory is an artifact for welder purposes. We've seen so few artifacts, it's crazy. How, many, how much of the prize am I going to spend on nugs and pizza? Uh, probably half, approximately. Really, the bad thing about this deck is the lack of the fixing that I've seen. I think that's the biggest issue right now. Don't get me wrong, there are, there are a lot of issues here, but... I think the biggest of them is the, the lack of the fixing. So pack three, I'm gonna have to prioritize like signets and whatnot. The ready if I can get it. Hey Valkno, 43 months, almost two years. Damn right. Yeah, I purposefully got second. Just to let people know. Just just to let people know that I, I want to qualify again. Bitty Twister, okay. We'll be passing Taiga. Some other fine cards. Nah, we need this too badly. I could also consider Oath of Druids. Because even Oathing into Welder is not like the worst. Because remember, Oath of Druids puts the cards into the graveyard. So with Oath and Welder, you can like randomly bin some artifacts, you know? Wrong Doretti Spaghetti. Not a bad Doretti Spaghetti. Also a Nahiri in the pack. I think I'm going to take Gilded Lotus. This card tends to wheel. Like, playable in very few decks. Will I play main event for Seattle? Absolutely, it's uh, sealed. That's my bread and butter. 36,000 limited games played on Magic Online. Dang, that's a nice pack. Black Cleave is super good here too, but Time Spiral is just OP. I can probably cut, start cutting the black in all honesty. Just play it safe. Since my mana is pretty sketchy. Okay. Anamorphose, Electromancer, Pyretic, all pretty good. Might still splash for the seal, depending on what fixing I can still get after, but... 43 was the total amount of matches I'd played on Magic Online. 36,000 of them were limited. It's either Manamorphose or Electromancer. I think I'm going to go with the Electro. All right. Slamming the Fumarole, even though Chandra's very good. Need that fix. El Rafa 69. Nice. Months. Epic Seeker. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. <laughs> oh, Kiki Jiki with Blightsteel Colossus. Game! Also, a treasure cruise. Cruise doesn't seem great here. Uh, as far as I'm aware, no. You, the only way you can see how many way, or how many matches you've played on Magic Online is by <laughs> queuing for the mocks. So just queue for the mocks and you can see how many matches you've played. 
on that particular account, I should say. I wonder if this is a pyroclasm pick. <gasps> yes! Dang it, the Greaves, but I gotta take the Duretis and pass the faces, Faith is looting too. Ooh! LED actually very good here as well. Okay. Now we're doing stuff. Still, like, slight temptation to play this both the druids, but fire versus brawl seems fine. I guess I'd rather just have the redundancy here. Oh my god, fire blast, sack two mountains, crucible! Is there any reason I'm going to play white? Why would I need this spires? Ah, punish. I just didn't see many rocks though. Like I took Mana Crypt and early Signet and then we just didn't really see any rocks after that. Oil Munson, thank you for that Twitch Prime. And Dr. McBoop, boop, 17 months. Maybe run the factory as my 18th land. Definitely don't need 18 lands in this deck though. Maybe I just run like random Banefire slash Glorybringer. That sucks that my only way to get the Colossus out is hard casting. It's a yikes. It's probably correct to cut this and just run like Fractured Identity. Can I see something funny about the mock stuff? Find it. Let me find the link. It sucks, but it's like the year they've done the least amount of coverage for the Mox. All right, so here's some Mox coverage, right? And then if you scroll down to like, uh, let's see if you go to, can I click on this? No, live coverage. Right, so if you go to like day one, or the article about the Magic Online Championship fact sheet. No, not this one, where is it? Maybe it's just like the deck list thing. Modern deck lists, I don't know. Like the most recent articles pertaining to Magic Online. What? What happened to it? Oh. I don't know. Never mind. What I was going to say is that when I, when I checked this last, the coverage last, it was like most recent articles pertaining to Magic Online, and it was from like 2013 when Worth Wolpert wrote something about it. Can you even click on whatever? Forget it. Forget it. Doesn't matter. Irrelevant. Humoral, yes. Ground, yes. And now we want the foundry for fractured. Doom doesn't do anything. Mystic Owl, thanks for the 11 months. And the Power Master with the two months. Do you have any way to search up basics? Oh. But it's not going to be too hard on the mana base to go like this. Eight blue sources, five, six, seven, eight red sources, and a white source each. Let's see how this deck runs. We do have some nice combos. We have like Goblin Welder with Mind Slaver slash Tangle Wire, also Duretti, Crucible with some looting effects. Okay, let's try to do some broken stuff. Nah, this deck's not terrible. Okay. This hand's not very good though. But I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm on the play, I have Duretti plus Mind Slaver. Really hoping to draw like Mana Crypt next turn. Or Signet would be good. Pyroclasm here. Well, that's actually not very good if they're gonna get ramped out fast and I don't have any of mine. Swoop Tech, thanks for the nine months. You can Goblin Weld at instant speed, but 
If you're talking about Blightsteel Colossus, it's a replacement effect. It never goes to the graveyard. <sighs> so you don't have a, ch a chance to swap it in. They didn't uh, level up their Jiraga Tree Speaker. I guess they were playing it safe. Maybe they thought I had a burn spell. Very passive play. Man, this time twister is looking real bad. Yeah, that that tree speaker. I'm I'm wondering what's going on here. <laughs> Probably can't complain. Alright, discard wall of roots. Go and find again. Baranialaka for that donation. Feel free, I hope you will make it all the way next year. Yeah, again, it's not gonna be easy to qualify for the mocks again. Right, I've been playing mocks events for I guess probably close to ten ish years. Shippishay. 36 months. Correct, this, that was my first Q. Oh, they leveled up the tree speaker. It's happening. And here comes big man Carnage. I don't know if I can beat a Carnage Tyrant. It's very good. Oh, I don't have a green source. <laughs> uh, yet. I think the nice thing here is that the Carnage Tyrant is almost certainly going to kill off Doretti. And that means I have seven more life to play with after I'm spiraling. Hey, thanks for that donation again. I know, and I believe in you. How do I feel about my 64% win rate? Man, I don't feel bad about it. Oh, no. Wait, how much damage does that do? 3, 6, 9. No, sorry. 3, 6, 11, 18. This puts me to 1? I think that you have to kill the ready here then, which means I gain at least 8 life. You have to kill the ready. Whoa, dude! You're not killing the ready? It's so greedy. I have a mind slaver in my graveyard, and you, I just took your artifact, bro. Okay, that's pretty good. Everett O'Reilly, thanks for the 11 months. All right. So let's sack the Mana Vault now, get the Mind Slaver, slay some mines, pass, eat their turn. Terwana, thanks for the 28 months as well. Doesn't really matter here. Okay. All right, so, Iretic. We can still do that afterwards, right? Oh, discarded a cre- Oh, wait, that's right, I could have discarded. Yeah, well, I didn't think about that. We still have to ready- Oh, I have to be careful here. I guess I'm actually supposed to get the Mind Slaver first. Yeah, I need to get the Mind Slaver back first before doing this. Unfortunately, I have to lose my Gilded Lotus, but it's just, just, just a necessary cost. I can win now. 
I can? I was not a... What? I almost certainly cannot win now. <laughs> I'm in real bad shape right now, is what you mean. Okay, so this is pretty good. I can natural order away the Carnage Tyrant at the very least. Hey, Glue Hefner, thanks for the five months. Elves of Deep Shadow to start pinging them, for one. Sunshine, did I miss you? Oh, I did, Sunshine, I'm sorry. With the four months. Oh, I also missed a raid by Yellow Hat. Thanks, Gabe. I could fail to find. I don't think it's bad to get the elf to try to start pinging them, for one, though. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get the elf. Why not? And we can chump attack their tree speaker. I don't know what I'm hoping to draw though, is the is the main issue here. Crypt. Both. Oh, it costs three! Oh yeah! Nice. Because I get one more. <laughs> I get one more activation out of Doretti, and that's it. Yeah, I need to find Welder and Artifacts, you're absolutely right. Oh, I could have I should have done it on their next turn, you're right. Well, no, because I could- no, I still should have. You're right, you're right, you're right. Mind Slaver. Sack the Crypt. I'm almost to the point where I can kill the Crater Hoof, though. By Seething Song, two mana, no. So we just have to Mind Slaver again and cross our fingers. I don't even want to cast any of their creatures, honestly. No, I think I need the LED. Yep, that's a good play. Bop Kill Bird is real good. And search, just do nothing with it is also good. But yeah, I don't think I play out any of their creatures with power. In fact, this time I'm just going to chump attack their elf again. Oh, so this could be a bad for me. If they draw Nyssa. Some instant creatures. It's the... Uh, it's the Crater Hoof has a 5-5 five five right now that's hurting me. But now they only have one lethal creature next turn, so we can survive at least one more turn. <laughs> uh, go. No, I think attacking's awful. I'd rather have them attack into me so that I can double block with Fumarole and Electromancer. Crater Hope doesn't naturally have Trample, it gives Trample, though. Becky 1989, 57 months. My god, thank you, dude. Oh, the out. The out is them attacking, me double blocking, killing, and then going for a burning. No, they cannot. If they try to do that, I activate in response. Right? Doesn't the slime say non-creature? Oh, no, no. Slime just specifies... Artifact, land, enchantment, right? It's not like the Primus. No. no, they attacked, so it's worked out. Laposaurus, thank you for the three months. Crucible of Worlds would also be a pretty nice draw at this point. 
We still have a Time Twister in our deck, too. Could redraw Fractured Identity, I guess. All right, well, now they're going to Slime. That doesn't kill the ready. So this is really good for us, as I'm going to dump out their hand of small creatures. And then I'm going to burning. Oh yeah, this is nice. This is nice. <laughs> Wow, we're, we're crushing them after this burning. Oh yeah, baby! How much mana do I have? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh no, I'm one short of burning into glory. All right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is game one, by the way. I don't actually think I want a time twister anymore. We're gonna be so far ahead. Uh, but it's not a bad backup card to have. All right, I guess I'll hold it for backup's sake. Oh, wait, what the heck? Uh, we don't need the stomping ground anymore, since, uh, it's only for, uh, it's only for fast bond, and I guess this plays around, like, wasteland. They have a Forest and a Primus in their hand, so I'm feeling pretty good about our position. Thank god I can kill that with Glorybringer. I think we hold on to the Pyro. Ooh, yeah. That's nice. We're not gonna deck. I have a Time Twister in my hand, too. Alright, first card they ate was a Mind Slaver. <laughs> LED gone now. Alright, it took us a while, but we finally stayed. Okay, they can itch their Primus, it's not a big deal. All these delicious lands I get to play. How nice. No, I think we still want to keep the Time Twister. It, again, it's a pretty good backup card. <laughs> Game one! Check a mate. All because they didn't attack Doretti that one turn. Do, 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 do. Yeah, imagine you thinking you can win against Mox, run, Mox runner up with Goif. With Goif. With foil Goif. Foil Goif. Can't beat me. JP Feinberg, thank you for the 15. 15 months. It's a lot of months. I've had all these Tarmogoyfs since they were like 70 plus tickets. And now they're like 10. <laughs> oh, baby, turn one! Tangle Wire! I really want to get turn two to ready first, but. Knowing they have natural order makes this a little bit scary. Another land? Actually, this is good. Now that I drew LED, this is really good. I only have to tap three permanents, so I'll tap Tangle Wire, LED, and a land, and then I'll have Mountain, Crypt, and another land for Dirty next turn, plus I get to keep them locked.
So make sure you get your fading counter removed first before you tap. Heads, 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 heads. Yes. I guess maybe I should have oh. kept an extra island, I was going to say. I need to find burning. Burning and crucible, GG. Oh, thanks, Plasma. <sighs> Definitely had a pretty damn good run. It qualified me for zero. First place in the mocks is the only thing that gets more than uh, monetary winnings. It's tails this time. I want a loyalty one of those things. I don't think so. Or not loyalty, identity. I want that. I really do, kinda. But the problem is I don't have green besides the LED. And I don't have a draw seven yet, so. The thing is, I can fracture identity one of their mana dorks. But I'm gonna I'm gonna bottom it. It's fine. It's whatever, I don't care. Didn't want fast bottom with draw sevens anyways. <sighs> yep, because I only had one blue. I'm going to time spiral into burning or pyro and then they're going to scoop. Spaghetti man taking a bit of damage. Oh, I don't need an island, I have the fumeral. Tails. Damn it. Why didn't I stick with heads? No. That's super tempting to play out first. They have a lot of mana next turn, though. I think I'm just going to go ahead and spiral and get greedy and look. So I'm going to land here. Spiral. Oh, no, no. I didn't. I forgot to float my LED. Gah! That's fine. Whatever. It's okay. To actually go off again here. Kind of, anyway. If I want to play Glorybringer first? Yeah, I probably do. Three, four, five, six. Oh, I can't. So, hold priority this time. Now we sack for blue. I have not Duretti yet. I want to wait to Duretti until the very last time that I go off. Should I have Duretti'd first and then preordained? Maybe I should have. Aha, there's the burn. There's the burn, baby. All right, how much mana do I have here? Six, five, go like this. Seething. Nine, five, six, seven, eight. It's a bowl. Burn. Um, they do get search for tomorrow, and I did just give them a fr fresh seven, but I kind of like that board position. Ain't gonna lie. The worst part is, is that we time twister, or sorry, time spiraled before time twister, so we didn't get to shuffle the time twister back in. Lost my one pip value there. Sure. In two turns we do, yeah, because Tanglewire is not going to actually sacrifice next turn. I think we're just going to go for Duretti Ultimate, honestly. A nice person. Okay. Oh my god. Group text has 74 missing. 74. 
IK4321. The deck has some very good cards, yeah. I don't know if it's broken, but it can do broken things. Like, a lot of these cards are some of the best in Magic. Alright, BRB. Ugh. It's time for a Mimosa. And then we'll finish this draft, and then we'll do some standard Dono decks. Ooh, Instafire. Nice. What we got here? Red man. JT Dubsky. 54 months. This hand's too good, though, if I draw a red source, so I'm going to YOLO keep it. Uh-oh. They ran out the ruby. Maybe they have a two mana counter. M goes. Four months. Thanks to all my friendos. Thanks, on me. Turn three, Chandra. Card Pyro and a land here. Oh, maybe they're doing similar things. Uh, what's left in my deck? Are these my only three creatures? I must have one more, right? Uh, Electromancer. That's what it is. Yeah, good thing Light Steel's not in our light. Uh, yeah, in our library. I mean, this probably isn't bad for them, given what they're doing. I doubt they're going to be that sad. Swamp, too, huh? Ooh. I think I'm actually going to discard the Welder and the Mage here. Did find a land. Let's go for Fractured on Chandra and then Down Tick on Electro. Or I could uptick for mana Crucible Land from Graveyard. Seems very good too. No, I'm going to play it safe. We're pretty far ahead. This could unlock some potential nonsense from them. Plus this way I get to play my tap land instead of getting the value from playing the island from the graveyard immediately. Alright, that's fine. Already got pretty absurd value there. Heads? No! The chosen one. Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we get... Discard the Foff. Three, Crucible, Island from Graveyard. Glory. Oh man, the Forge. Heads, please, 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 no! Okay. So, it's the black colorless. We don't need those two. Let me use all of our blue since we have so much. There we go. There's a mine slaver. Do I have enough mana? Four, five, six, seven. Nine. Oh, I'm one mana short. What I could do is I could LED discard my hand and then sack the mana crypt to get back the Mind Slaver. That's probably correct. I'm going to go ahead and make that play. As long as I'm holding up four extra mana in this game, should be GG'd. I guess I get to preordain as well. Oh, sure. Either way. Yeah, yeah. Either way. You're right. I can do this, too. That's a, that's a, that's a fair call. A fair line. Because now this way, not only do I get to Mind Slaver them, but now I can sack the Crypt immediately. Alright, chat, you're right. 
Your play was a little bit better. Or ult's already, yeah, uptick there and then do it again. Alright, well, this is why I got second at the mocks and not first, because chat's OP. This might be worth considering. They're playing artifacts. Also, I could splash Disenchant? Technically, I could splash all three of these artifact removal spells. Technically. It's not super easy. All of them would be pretty hard. I guess Disenchant would technically be the easiest, and then Colagons. Uh, uh, nah. The old 20k smile. Grundle Pinch. Thank you for that tier 1. Grundle Pinch. Wait, isn't Grundle some weird slang for a body part? I, I probably shouldn't look this up. <laughs> yep, Grundle Pinch. Okay. Never mind. Anyways. Oh, I should have taken this pyro out. Search your history? Clear, 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 delete, delete. Hey man, if you're into it. Whoever floats your boat, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna jump. Yeah, Pyroclasm should have just come out for any of those cards I was talking about. Most likely the disenchant. I said Grundle out loud, so now Amazon is gonna recommend cleaning products. Whoa! Uh oh. oh. I was really hoping they would play Chandra and then I could just land Crypt Identity. I guess I'll have to play the mediocre line of Crypt Lotus Wire. Ugh, whatever. The Co Daddy, thank you for the tier one. Ooh, reprinted Foth, nice. Pasty, pasty. Image Solemn is some decent value for sure. Oh man, the Seif's probably happy. It's Foth in his blue white deck. Heads, God damn it! Mind Slaver doesn't even seem like particularly great here. But Fractured Identity on Solemn is kind of lackluster. I guess it's fine though. Yeah, there were a few different routes I could take there. I think I, I think I just like getting the land from the Solemn. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So if they tap their mine here like this, next turn I can mine slave and activate and then strip mine themselves. Make them strip themselves. W R Parks, thank you, friendo. Oh no. Oh no, that's bad. That's very good versus me. Now we can't make that play. I guess I want to trade off Solemns here while I can. God damn it, it's been Tails like the last five times. Killing or trading off Solemns here, which I assume they're going to do, means they can't just minus again without playing another artifact first. Or six manas. So I'm just going to slave and pass. That's weird. I was hoping that I was going to win too. No, I think I want to save the ritual for the twister turn. Well, currently, 
the text has been irrelevant. Taking some damage hasn't done anything. Oh, so now they get to sacrifice their sword to kill my slave. Boo. I'm going to get rocked here. Maybe. Ow. Ow, daddy. Daddy, no. <laughs> Just heads. God damn it. That's like six in a row. Seriously, like six in a row. I like get to poop out a blocker. Ooh. The Tez. All right, well, I'm going for that time next turn. It is time. Days of Reckoning! Gifting five subs to the channel. Holy moly, thank you, Days. Park Shaden. Goblin Ski Patrol, DV9R, Smiling Coyote, and DW Brandon. Getting all those gifted subs. Congrats and thank you. Heads, please. Thank God, finally. Ninja Duxy. Two months. Thanks, friend. All right. Well, let's attack Doretti. Make him, make him Chumpo. Now, do I want to play out the Fumeral before I'm Twistering? I don't think so. That way I can draw another blue source and play it immediately. Why did I attack first? No, no glory. Oh, I would have been able to kill both their Planeswalkers. Fudge. That sucks. G Primes, my friend. I think it was the right play. Maybe it wasn't. I have no idea. Well, here you go, opponent. I have seven cards. Good luck. G Primes, thank you for those biddies. And Humphrey Lee, eighty-one with the five-month resub. Did you get it fixed already? Uh. So far they haven't done anything extremely exciting. I mean, that's annoying, but that wasn't like awful. How long did it take you to uh, Google that, Google that name? <laughs> Going with heads again. Any given Sunday, thank you for the 26 months. I'm not gonna kill the token. I don't think it's super relevant. Uh wait a minute. I need to I need to attack Tez here. That sucks. If they have any removal, I just good enough. Replaying the, the glory bringer doesn't even do enough. I watched some of my modern matches um, prior to the semis just to see what kind of insight they could give me. Round one of draft. What was wrong with round one of draft? Draft on day two? What? My draft was amazing. I found the open lane. I got an eighth pick Skydiver in pack two. And then I got past Roalesque. Tomorrow at three? Yeah, I think so. Sure. Hopefully this buys us enough time to find something tasty. Yeah, Living Twister is a great card. I mean, first picked it for a reason, but. With this hand, I'm just going to run out the Tangle Wire next turn. Oh my gosh, yes. Certainly running out. 
This hand is a yikes. What are the win cons? Uh, we have a few. We have Mind Slaver Lock. I have Mind Slaver Lock. Some random creatures. Glorybringer. What's the downside of tapping Welder here? I draw like Foth or Doretti, but I. I also have Time Spiral in the deck. I guess I have Seething Song. Okay, I can tap the Signet. Or I could just, you know, draw another land, so it doesn't matter anyways. This is definitely a grind deck, though. It does not win very quickly, usually. That's not a problem yet. Now remember, Welder is either player, so if they get a if they get a terrible um, artifact in their graveyard, I can weld out their Strix or uh, Signet. Well, that's a Pog. Ooh, what would I Tezzeret for? I don't know what I'm tezzing for. Yeah, if I do zero, I can just get Crypt or LED. I think that's fine. Three On three, I have like Crucible. Yeah, I guess we just get a Mana Rock of some sort. Oh, shoot! I forgot this puts it into play. And Tangle Wire is not being sacrificed for two more turns. I shouldn't have got Crypt yet. Whoops. That was a punt. Yeah, yeah. Another thing is if I get LED there, I can just actually crack the LED ASAP and then refresh the Tangle Wire. Um, two turns. Totally forgot this was just going to put it on the battlefield, though. Bad. We really need to find Twister or Spiral. Dr. Random, it's about 27 months. Are you allowed to talk about Modern Horizon spoiled cards? As long as they're from legit sources. Uh-oh, adding red. Getting top two qualify me for any other magic tournament. Nope, back to grinding. The only... Finish, the only place that got more than cash was first place, which also got like at least 20,000 in just random value because you, it qualifies you for every Mythic Championship for the rest of the year. The appearance fees, you also get qualified for the mocks next year, so. Oh, they just killed my welder. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we have enough mana. Okay, well, I can almost kill them. So, what I do here is I mind slave them. Oh no, Tangle Wire's dying next turn. Never mind. I can't kill them. I'm close though. I'm gonna have 5, 10, 14 damage. Oh well, we might be able to wreck them. Oh, mind twist themselves! Okay, how do we do this? So I need to bedevil their... Oh, they only have two black sources. I can't, I can't bedevil and mind twist themselves. This is each opponent, right? Yeah, damn it. Dang. Solemn puts the black source on, uh, into the play tapped. I can't minus three because there's no target. I could try to get greedy and Chandra uptick 
for a black source. Wait, no. Never mind, that doesn't work either. Well, I think the play here might be like... Yeah, it's just gonna be Mind Twist. And sack their own Sig. I should have floated that mana first! No, I don't. Never mind. Because Mind Twist egg discards itself. Alright, well, that was still a good turn. So close to being able to also off their Chandra there. I think I probably still just, uh... Still just Tezzeret make both these creatures to kill the Chandra for sure. This only is 4 power, so it doesn't kill the Chandra, which I think I need to do. I think I need to kill Chandra this turn. So attack Doretti, attack Chandra, attack base. And then it's Fumeral and a bunch of mana versus top decks. So this is fine. Uh, it's it's pretty risky. I don't need to do it yet. I certainly don't need to do it yet. No balls. Confirmed. That's kind of interesting. I have a lot of health to work with, too. Yeah. No! Removal spell! Oh, big removal spell? Well, now that they're tapped out, it is a little bit more tempting to just do it now. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mana. Get to hell with it. Don't do it. Don't do it live. Hell no, I ain't gonna wait. I wanna do stuff. I want some action. I want some satisfaction. No reaction. Don't try this at home, kids. It's destined to fail. Hey, knock it off. I think you've made a mistake, friend. I don't think you realize. <laughs> right, down. I mean, this is fine. It's not crazy good, but it's fine. Remember, I just gave them a fresh hand, and I still have Mana Crypt on the battlefield, so I don't have any pressure right now. Yo, Long Road Gaming, thank you for the 45 months. That was definitely the YOLO play. There was no need to Time Twister there, for the record. I had so much more mana, and we were both on the top deck. Was it the fun play? abso freaking lootly What's left for Trinket? Grey Ogre status. I still have Spiral in the deck, though, right? Oh, Confluence. They did kill my Crypt, though. That's not bad for me. I think it's correct to keep the fumeral. We don't want to shuffle, we just put a land on the bottom. We actually have him dead on board currently. Right, what you got, homie? Opponent's currently 2 0, too, so. This is for the Dream Crush. I'm 1-0 currently. It's monkey. 
or monk T. Bail. Oh, they don't have an artifact in their graveyard for me to weld. Man, that Thopter token could become a liability for them. If I can somehow get a card in their graveyard. Yikes. Well, let's attack with the Trinket and see what they do. Hey, Squires. Is that nine months? We want to run out the Diamond here. So that we can uh, weld out if we need to. We don't have anything great, but we can get back Gilded Lotus. We're actually losing this game right now. Nothing significant. Stop him! But our library, however, has some uh, good ones. Um, Ecom Bokum. They probably kill Welder here, right? Yeah, right. Let's weld out our LED for a Lotus. I'm thinking of a card that costs six mana and makes each player draw seven cards, shuffle their library or graveyard into their library, and then I get to untap six lands and then it exiles itself, etc. Honestly, that's not terrible. Because now they have to chump with their uh, Abbot if they want to keep their Chandra around. Wasn't a bad turn. A two for one, effectively, no matter how you slice it. I mean, I guess the Strix got value from drawing a card, but the Abbot whiffed, basically. That's not too bad. I doubt they're going to cast it. I think two damage is more relevant here. Or maybe they need the mana. I don't know. They have a Forge Master in their deck that we saw, what, in game one? That's not doing much. Oh, did they forget about my Fumeral? Maybe they just have their Burst Lightning. Nope, they already used it. Right, that was good this game. Do I get to kill Chandra here? <laughs> I'm going for the kill. They, I think it's pretty clear they have a removal spell, but... Nice. Okay, so we get to kill Chandra. That was a very good draw. Alright, back to the top deck battles. Strip mine my fumer. No! <laughs> no! Wow, that's gonna be absurd with the smoke stacks. I get to uptick it and then make them sack Thopter and stacks. <laughs> uh... So we wanna order it this way now. Oh no, what? Oh yeah, no, no, I did it right, okay. Did it right. I, I thought it, it yeah, because it reversed itself. All right, well, I mean, 10 mana, two for one, we'll take it. That's a great draw. For when they eventually cast Forge Master or whatever. Oh, stone. Oh, my. Huh. So I actually think I sit on it. Oh, wait. They got to start adding counters to crap, don't they? Maybe this was a mistake. I guess these aren't super relevant, though. I have a time spiral in my deck. Yeah, I actually should have cast this last turn. Uh, I guess that was a mistake for sure. So they can either blow up the world or put a counter on like their sword. 
well, blow up the world. By that I mean blow up Sword, Mox, Mox, and Lotus. I think it makes more sense to blow, right? Yeah, that makes that makes a lot more sense. For sure. Because now whoever top decks a threat, or if, if they top deck a threat, I can't blow it up since those artifacts are mainly irrelevant. Dang it, looks like they drew another relevant spell. Wow! Alright, I guess I'm on a two turn clock. God, they had just- oh, They had just enough mana because I didn't- Oh wait. Yeah, because I didn't use the uh, Fracture to turn earlier. They had exactly enough mana because of that. They were one short if I had done it correctly. Oh no. Oh no, dude! <laughs> Alright, GG. Mistakes have been made. Oh. That would have been like three turns away too because of the Black Cleave. Oh no. Alright, one more match. That would have been a win if I had done it immediately. Okay, I'm gonna give this a shot. Uh, the bot tells me. We weren't on a streak. Or that too, yeah, but... I mean, at that point, you don't, don't assume they're going to draw a 9 mana card or whatever. <sighs> Let's slow things down. If you don't have a counter. You need a nap? I think I need a nap too. I've been exhausted the last... Astro Blaster got another deck for us to play after this. Good. We have Preordain and... Um, Welder, so either one. 50-50. Yeah, where's a Blood Moon when you need it? Oh, actually, I have Magus, don't I? I do have Magus. Yeah, this is Vintage Cube. My god. Their mana base is OP. I did not win last game. I punted. It comes like God the Shrine or something. <laughs> I did. As I was telling people, I won $700,000. They gave me a new Corvette. Uh, I'm locked for platinum status for life. Uh, among other things. Great. Gideon Blackwood. Gideon Blackblade. Oh, and, and I'm a Hall of Fame, right. Guess I probably need to cast this. Uh, you cl click this little icon here, the gear, and you turn off Enable Animations. Well, they said the unicorn wasn't going to be made out of the pixie dust for another year or so, but that I would get it after. Le Big Mark! Thank you for that Twitch Prime sub. Dude, who doesn't love some nuggets? Nuggets of wisdom. Hooker Wisp. Reset Ian's loyalty? Oh, what are they? They're resetting my tangle wire! What is this play? Unless you have like a path or a swords. Or a Condemn. If they have a way to deal with Glorybringer, this makes a lot of sense. If they don't, I question. So. I will assume that they have one of those cards that I mentioned. 10 pound gold nugget would certainly be worth more than a thousand pound chicken nugget. 
Right, they did. It makes the sense. I still need to draw a land here to cast the Guild of Lotus, for example. I don't know why I didn't Pyroclasm before casting my Welder, mainly because I'm stupid. Yeah, it was just bait. If I run out Goblin Welder, of course they're gonna play like 10 creatures with 1 and 2 toughness. Squid Baby, thank you for the 6 months. Is my standard deck list online anywhere? Yeah, they posted it uh, on the Wizards site for the event. Yeah, I did not expect to win the semifinals. I thought both my standard deck and modern deck were well are ill positioned versus uh that match, my opponent Bernardo. So had to run kinda hot. Gideon's just good. Uh I don't recall if I've played in a mox open this year. Also, don't I don't play in any, or I haven't played in any of the quarterlies for the most part. A lot of things were happening, or have happened this year that have impeded my ability to play on the weekends. Both good and bad. Uh, in standard, Bernardo was on Just Guy Planeswalkers, and I was just Just Guy Walker Control. But he had four Narsets and four unravel Time Unraveler Teferis in his deck. Both kind of wreck me. Well, I guess I'll go get another Mimosa. I have, yeah. Good stuffs. Man, I had time to go get another Mimosi. And the OP is still timing out here. Well, the champagne was from, from the wedding, so it's just left over. Oh, wait. I thought something moved. Wrong. I want to get messed up today? No. Still got to do my Saitama workout. Did the Saitama workout every day of the mocks, too. It was great. As great as it can be, anyway. Oh, did they DC? Connection has been lost. The mo Mimosa workout plan? I don't know if that's a true workout plan. Digging the slowness. That is very fitting right now. Thanks for that 30 months. Is that supposed to be a good modern matchup? He had a lot of good sideboard cards versus me. He had Blood Moons, Ceremonious Rejections at the very least. I believe there were a few other cards. He had like six to eight sideboard cards versus me, from what I remember. Space Hippie, thanks for that 36 months. Oh, I'm sure I made some mistakes. Last, last game of that Tron matchup, though, I just kind of flooded out, and then he had the Blood Moon afterwards. But if I had won that modern match, then I would have gotten to choose the match again, and I would have just chosen modern. I don't think that's a very good matchup for me in standard. All right, well, we're probably going to get a DC here. And then uh, move over to standard. Friend Friday action. Ant Super Friends modern deck. I don't think I've looked at that. Space Hippie! Thanks for the 36 months. Five years! That's right. Alright, well, we will move over to the Arene Skis, I guess. Should get a timeout win here momentarily. The first on the docket is the leftover... Uh, Defender deck from last week. Alright, we did get the match win there. When it timed out, unfortunately. 
This channel is sponsored by Inked Gaming. Go to InkedGaming.com for awesome playmats, dice bags, and more.